Hello, greetings, everybody. I want to make a video about lines, their equations, and their slopes. And my intention for doing that is to address this question right here, which at least at this point in time is, is question six from assignment 1.1. But even if you weren't trying to do this question, <clears throat> what I say about slope and lines and equations are, is applicable across the board, okay? Um, so I'm gonna put this away, I'll come back to it, and I wanna say that, first of all, uh, if we should ever see the equation y equals mx plus b, okay? y equals some number m times x plus some other number b, then the graph of that equation will be a line that will have a slope of m, meaning whatever that number is right there, multiplying the x, and a y-intercept of 0 for x and b for y. So the y-intercept is where the line hits the y-axis, okay? Now, all right, that's just like basic knowledge. Uh, that we have going into this, that we would need to have going into this. But I want to focus on the interpretation or the meaning of the slope, okay, for the purpose of this video. Um, the slope of a line, however you determine what the slope of the line is, will tell us how steep the line is, okay? And the reason for that is that slope means rise over run. So if I say, Here's a line, y equals 2 thirds times x plus 4. Then the slope of that line is 2 thirds. But I have to interpret that as rise over run. So that would mean that this line is such that to get from one point to another, it has to be steep enough such that if I run 3, I have to rise 2. So when I drew this line, I actually got this, this ruler out, okay? And I counted spaces on the ruler, okay? And it doesn't matter what the units are. The units could be centimeters, millimeters, inches, whatever. Uh, if you run three centimeters, you have to rise two centimeters on this line. That's just how steep it is, okay? If you run three millimeters, you'll have to rise two millimeters, that's just how steep it is, okay? So that's how we interpret slope as rise over run. And in addition to that, it tells us how steep it is because of that, you know? If I know the proportions of rising to running, that's totally gonna determine how steep the line is. Okay, now uh, let's talk about this question that is here in my math, math lab, this one. We're given these functions that claim to tell us what the profit at a certain store is in a certain year, okay? And we'll accept that information. Uh, you might wonder, like, can you get a, a function that would predict that sort of thing? And well, sometimes you can. I mean, it may not be a perfect prediction because how can we perfectly predict the future? Uh, but uh, maybe based on past data, we could get something that we extrapolate into the future, and maybe it is a line, all right? So let's say that here's the equation given in that problem. This is one of the equations. So f of x is negative 0.49x plus 14.37. Now f of x, or y, is telling us the profit for year x, okay? So you tell me the year... I put that in there, and when I get back out, it's the profit. Now, one of one component of the question is, uh, is the profit increasing every year or decreasing every year, or is it constant every year? Okay. Um, well, let's let's go back to what slope means. So, slope is rise over run, and I see that for this equation. This is y equals mx plus b, so it's a line, and the slope is negative 0.49, okay? Now, I need some way to interpret that, the negative 0.49. I need to see that as rise over run. So, the way that I'll explain it in this video is 0 0.49 is the fraction 49 over 100, okay? When you divide a number by 100, you move the decimal left to you. 
49 divided by 100 is 0 0.49. Now that number is also negative. Okay, so I'm gonna here's the interpretation I'm gonna give you. It's negative 49 over 100. Now what that means about this line is that if you're on the line running 100, will mean you have to rise negative 49. So uh, what does that mean then? Running 100, and I guess if the rise is negative, that would mean going down, okay? So I have to run 100. As a result, I have to rise or go down 49. So that slope or that line is going down and to the right like this. And that means that as you run, the year gets bigger because X left and right on the graph is the year. You have to go down and Y is the profit and going down would mean that the profit gets smaller. So that's how we can reach this conclusion that the slope of the line is okay, negative 0 0.49, but it means that the profit is decreasing, it's getting smaller every year. Now, that's the whole explanation. Um, what we could say from here then is that, well, okay, if for these functions, they claim to give you the profit at any given year. Then if the slope was negative, it would mean the profit was decreasing. If the slope was positive, it would mean it's increasing. Okay. All right. So that's how we can think about it. Um, what about constant? Like, because I see in the uh, options here, the choices, it says, all oh, the slope is whatever number, and it could mean that the profit is increasing, decreasing, or constant. Uh, constant would mean if the slope was zero, okay? Because what if that number multiplying the x was zero? There wouldn't be an x. And it would just say y profit equals some, like whatever that other number is left in the equation. That would mean that it isn't changing. It's the same all the time. The x is gone, all right? The y is just whatever number is left over. Now that's not the case for these, but if in case you did see it that way, um, that's what constant would mean. Well, what about this other one? Uh, select the choice for the function g. So you g right here, its slope is 0 0.56, and that's positive, and that will mean that the profit's increasing. Okay. And then for this last part, I want to propose you a question like this. Here are those functions I'm given. And if I read this question in a little more detail, it will say, well, there's this company that has two storefronts, okay? And um, this equation, this function, tells me the yearly profit at store one, okay? And this other equation tells me the yearly profit at store two. And the question that's proposed in here on my math lab is what's the total yearly profit for the company and so that would mean between the two stores if this is like one company and they have two stores that are operating which is what this question suggests to us then the total profit for the company is just whatever you got between the stores one of them the profits going down from year to year and the other one it's going up from year to year so if you wanted the total it makes sense that you just add them together Okay, so what I did here is find the function f plus g, meaning I just take the function f and I add it to g and simplify it, all right? If that was f minus g, I would take the function f and I would subtract g and so on and so forth. So, um, so that's what f plus g would be, and that's what it would mean, okay? So I take the function f, which you see here, and I add g. I'll simplify that however I can. What can I do? Um, well, so I see some like terms here. Um, so like negative 0.49x, I can add that to 0.56x. I'll get 0.07x. And then 14.37 plus 10.54, I'll get 24.91. So there's this function f plus g, which is the total yearly profit between the two stores uh, together, all right? Okay, so that's what it's asking me 
for this last part. 0 0.07 x plus, what was it, 24.91. All right, so that's f plus g. That's what I wanted in this last part. It has its own slope, and I notice it's positive 0.07, right? It's a positive number. That means that, well, between the two, one store might be having a profit going down from year to year and the other one going up from year to year. But once you consider both of them together, you get uh, a total profit that's oh, increasing. I didn't mean to put constant. 0 0.07 and it's increasing every year. All right, so that's what we wanted for this one. That's a little bit of a crash course on slope and I didn't go into an extreme amount of detail about how you sketch graphs of lines and so on and so forth. But now like we can see that when we have a line, all right, if the slope's negative, the line's gonna be going down. Put that on top of whatever interpretation you have for the variable such as profit going down. If the slope's positive, the line will be going up. Put that on top of whatever the interpretation is on the variable, such as profit, and that's how we can answer it.